I moved out of college and drove all the way up the country to yeah. attend my internship. And in this video, I will be showing you guys what a typical day of an engineering internship actually looks like. Oh no. I usually start my day off at 6 a.m. And that is not how I usually wake up, by the way. That's a lot more real. There we go. I usually start my day off at 6 a.m. I'll get up, brush my teeth, I'll take a bath, and get ready. I do not usually pack lunch the night before, so I have to wake up slightly earlier to do that. And besides, the kitchen is just less crowded with the boys still asleep. It's only a 3 minute commute to work, I can drive there, but if I'm up for the challenge, the board is also available. Good morning. Today is a Friday. Weather is so good today. And uh, personally, for interns, they don't have a specific time for us to come in. But I usually come in as soon as I can. I generally come in at 7. Because the sooner you get in, the sooner you get done. That's what I usually do. So let me give you guys some context. So let me give you guys some context. To give you guys a little bit of context as to what's going on, the title of my internship is Field Service Intern, and I'm interning with Preferred Utilities Manufacturing Corporation. Shout out to Preferred's management for letting me film this video. A little bit about Preferred, based on my limited understanding, is that they produce a variety of products, including burners, automatic controls, and many more. And burners are usually paired with boilers to produce hot water and steam, and people need hot water and steam. But over time, materials, they deteriorate, and that's when I come in, I go to the location sites, and I fix them. But today, we interns do not have a specific location to go to, so we usually just get sent to the office, but normally, we don't have anything much to do. So, I spend most of my days going around asking people Do you have a job for me? Hey, do you have a job for me? Do you have a job for me? Do you have a job for me? And uh, I usually end up with something. Yeah, let me get my hands. Bro, it's so hot, bro. Sit down on the ground picnic with us. <laughs> A couple of things that I learned from this internship is that college is really nice. A lot of my friends that are moving in as staff signing in for work, they have to worry about a lot of my details that I don't have to worry about still, such as bad frame, electricity bills, water bill, car insurance, tax, like all those things that I still don't have to worry about. So take advantage of college while you still can. Another thing that I've learned so far is it's okay to not know anything. In the field service intern section, it's just me and Andrew and Andrew being Andrew is a big brain guy. He even 3D printed this monitor arm set in his free time. And I don't do those things. So, in conversation wise, or when we're asking questions, he seems to be the more, the guy that understands it already and know what's going on. While on the other hand, I'm still like confused. And it's okay to not know, but it's your fault if you don't ask. And that's what I've been learning so far. Sometimes I get so embarrassed to ask because you know, people get it already, and why are you still not getting it? But it's okay, trust me, it's okay to ask. In fact, people actually like it when you ask. So, do that. 
Another thing that I've learned is take notes. It seems kind of weird to take notes outside of the classroom scenario, but when you take notes, you actually need to think before you write it down. So it really helped as you, as you process what was happening. And it shows your supervisor that you are of best interest and you wanted to learn and know more about stuff. Part of being an intern is that you also need to know how to take constructive criticism well because you, you're going to be working with people who's been in this industry for who knows how long and they're technically skilled at it. And imagine this newbie intern just comes in and messes everything up. When you know how to take constructive criticism well, people will like you more, obviously, networking, back at it. Just learn from your mistakes for the long run. When I think about the way we used to be I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. See you guys in the house. Bye. Oh yeah, poker. Bye. Bye to the camera. So, that's a typical day in the life of an engineering intern. And at the end of the day, it's a really humbling experience learning from these people. As I come close to finish my college career, this internship gave me an insight on what the workforce I'll be getting myself into is actually like, and I'm thankful that this opportunity provides me with a good transition towards adulthood. I'm very grateful for all the people I have in my life, the family away from home, the boys that makes this summer a lot more memorable, and thank you for making it this far to the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.